5 or 6, backing southerly 6 or 7, perhaps gale 8 later. The shipping forecast is an iconic British broadcast, but how is it created here at the Met Office? Our operations centre is 24-7, 365 days a year. Teams of meteorologists are looking at observations, monitoring the charts, producing forecasts right around the clock. And shipping has its own team of forecasters. The senior maritime meteorologist of the day, one of their tasks will be to create the shipping forecast. We do it every six hours, so four times a day. That's over a thousand times we produce the shipping forecast for the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency each year. Perhaps surprisingly, none of this process is automated. And that's because the duty meteorologist has to apply their expertise and their knowledge of the weather and the seas to adapt to the changes and move the forecast along every six hours. We gather weather observations from all around the globe at the Met Office and we feed that into our supercomputer and it will come out with wind fields in various different forms and also wave heights as well. We start the shipping forecast by writing a general synopsis and all that means is we look where the highs and lows are at a certain time and then we'll predict where those highs and lows will be in 24 hours time. From there we'll move on to the main body of the shipping forecast always starting with a Viking and in that forecast we will predict the wind speeds in forces for the next 24 hours ahead and also the wave heights, the weather and the visibilities. I've been fortunate enough to read out the shipping forecast live on national radio. It's one of my proudest broadcast moments. The ships are three minutes long, but add on the coastal observations and the inshore waters, as sometimes we do, and that tots up to an impressive nine minutes of live radio. When I'd received the script, the first thing I would do was check the word count. And then we read it out with a clock very close by. It's always one eye on the clock, one eye on the script. Timings of radio can be very strict indeed. One of the most challenging parts of the shipping forecast is the word count. We have to write the forecast between 350 and around about 370 words. Sometimes that can be very challenging, particularly when we have fast moving systems in the forecast. To find out more about the history of the shipping forecast and the names used for the different areas, there's much more on the Met Office website. <laughs>